the Jackpot tutorial with me Rahul. In this tutorial, I will show you how to get push notifications working for your iOS app in Jackpot. Uh, the first time you want to do a publication is to get notifications working in your app. You have to keep a few things in mind that you will have to do the build yourself. And I'll show you the entire process here. I will give you tips on what needs to be entered where and all that stuff. So to get started, what we will do is we will export the code. So go to your view code section and then hit export app. So once you do this export app, uh, we usually send you an email after five minutes uh, with a zip folder which will contain all the files of your app. So once you get the email, you download the attachment and you get something like this. A zip folder with your application. So the first step here would be to extract it. And now you get this folder. So you would go to the folder and then uh, copy the address if you're using Windows. And if you're using iOS, you can basically go to that directory in the command prompt. Uh, so I'll open the command prompt. A few prerequisites for this would be having the EAS CLI installed. So you would do npm install EAS CLI and have the expo CLI as well. So we will write those things down in the docs that you would need to install first. Of course, you would also need node installed as well. So assuming that you have all the prerequisites, we will start, uh, we will go into the folder and then the first step would be to yarn. It would take a couple of minutes for this to complete. It's basically installing all the dependencies for your app. Uh, you can ignore these warnings, that's fine. Okay, so we are done. And now the first step would be write in this command, which is EAS build hyphen P iOS. So we are building our app. So the first problem would be would you like us to run git in it? Yes. So people who haven't signed in to the git, it will ask you to sign in to your git account here. So you should have a git get the cam and be able to sign up in it. So when it will ask you for a commit message, you can just hit enter. It will ask you to do uh, log into your Apple account, so you would say yes. It will ask you for an ID, you would enter your Apple ID here, and then it will ask you for your password as well. <clears throat> Select your team, so you can just select your team. So it's asking me if I want to use an older certificate. If you have one, you can use that, otherwise you can generate a new one. So I'll just say yes. Um, it will ask you to generate a new Apple provisioning profile. You would say yes. And here's the million dollar question. Would you like to set up push notifications for your project? You would say yes. So if you don't have any existing push keys, you can create a new one. Each Apple developer account has two push keys that they can use. Um, and again, you can use that push key in multiple apps. It doesn't really matter. So in my case, I'm going to use our existing key, but you can create a new one as well. There you go. Um, and all the configuration is done. Now it's going to queue your build. And depending on your account status in Expo, the waiting time depends with that. So we are on a pro account, so it's not too long, but 
can see we still have to wait in the queue. It also gives you this link where it shows you your build and the status of it. If you want to take a look, you can copy this and go to that web page. So let's take a look. So we'll take it into your expo account and uh, see the status here, so it's still here, just letting you guys know. This usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Alright, so we are still waiting on this process to finish. Once this is finished, we will just need to add one more command and we should be good after that. And once this process is done, uh, we would submit the app and once the submission is done too, then you would see your app on your Apple Connect account. Uh, and basically over there you would have a couple of configuration steps that you do usually when you do a publish through trackpad is basically uh, manage compliances you answer those questions according to your app and then it should be available to you in test flight Okay, so our build is completed. Now we would basically do the next command, which is to submit this project to test flight. So we do EAS submit P iOS. We we'll ask you to sign up. We'll ask you to select your build, so we would select the first option and then the first build here. Say yes. And you'll get this message that your binary has been successfully, sorry, successfully uploaded to the App Store Connect and it usually takes up about five to 10 minutes. And you should see your uh, build right here. Or you can log into your Apple account and then you should be able to see it. Uh, after this is done, uh, the one last step here is basically um, putting in this command, which is expo credentials colon manager. We enter that and it will ask you to select platform. I would select iOS. Uh, 
it will ask you to select a push notification key so we can just say use existing push notifications key in the current project and hit enter and that's basically it so we have linked your push notification key with expo and you can quit this credentials manager so we are all done so once you see your app in test flight you should be able to do push notifications in it uh, one way to test it is get the push token uh, every app or every installed version of your app has a unique push token to it then you can use a tool like insomnia or maybe use the expo push notification service tool to check your notifications so let me just share this so in your insomnia you would need obviously all of this information is available in expo and you should be able to see it uh, in our docs section as well so this is how this looks like this is uh, the structure of the request that we are sending so it's there's a to field which will contain the push token that you want to send the push notification to a title a body and then if you want you can have data there as well this is not required this is something that uh, I just added and then you would say send and you should receive if the push notification was sent successfully you will receive a response back saying status is okay and you'll get an ID I hope this was helpful let, let us know if you have any other questions thank you for your patience bye